gap here. Woo. The optional sideline. All right, heel, pump, scrub. Oh, corners are rebuilt. Oh, there's a berm here now. Over jump into here. Cut, pump. No brakes. Scrub the speed. Oh, that's a double now. Jump into the corner. Still remember that. Coming up. You. That lip is bigger. Oh, yeah. What's up, Wolf Peck? Cole Gregg here out at Duthie Hill in Issaquah, Washington with the Canyon Stride behind me. And we're gonna be doing a little trail preview today. I'm gonna run you through some of my favorite trails here. We're gonna skip the XC trails. We don't need to see that today. I'm gonna hit some of the flow trails, the blues, the double blacks, jump lines, maybe even some technical climbs. We'll see what we get into. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my pads on and get set for the ride. Before we head in, a little bit about this place. It is smack dab in the center of Sammamish. So it's an Issaquah address, but it's actually up on the Sammamish Plateau. And as you can see here, the trail map. So there is a big center area where most of the trails kind of stem off from. Uh, here is the flow park. There's some really fun jump lines here, fly, or flying squirrel here. You got Jabulani um, and uh, this trail here is usually the one we'll start on and kind of go down the line. Um, over on this side, it's another little jump park. There's a couple dirt jump lines. Uh, Double Trouble's been awesome the last few years and Gravy Train is a black blue intermediate jump trail. Uh, it's kind of fun for all ages and skill levels. Um, and then there's Boot Camp. It runs all the way around the outside of the park into Step It Up and you can make it about a three and a half mile loop, I believe is the full loop. Um, there's really only, oh, maybe 200, no, maybe 100 feet of elevation in total for this place. So you can get a bunch of laps in without burning out the legs, especially if you're sessioning the jump lines. So yeah, there's a pretty good sized parking lot. Usually, I mean, I'm here a little early because I knew it was going to fill up. But uh, yeah, this place fills up quick. Um, and it's about a four minute, five minute pedal into the actual park itself. Uh, pretty easy trail. Let's go ahead and get it done. All right, so after that short little road climb, you enter in on boot camp here. See how soggy it is. You got some rain the last few days. Ooh, it's a little slick. So this trail kind of puts you into the, the first set of trails. And we'll take uh, Deuces Wild down, which is super fun dual slalom course. And you can also take the rest of boot camp, which goes that way. But we'll do Deuces Wild for the fun of it. Hello. Oh yeah, this trail, oh my seat's still up, there we go. <laughs> Super fun with the friends, side by side. A little nose bunk. Oh yeah, plenty of grip in the dry. It's, you get winded on this, you go zero to a hundred real quick. Couple little jumps. Man. It's been a minute. I haven't been here for about four months. Woo! Great little warm up trail. Cut to the inside. Trickiest corner right there. See if I got enough oomph. Oh, yeah. Great warm up trail, I'm cooked. Woo. All right, put you out in the center of the park. One of two pump tracks here. And we are gonna go do Voodoo Child. First trail, usually do this, like it's a good warm up or another good warm up. High speed, a couple jumps here and there. Easy pedal up. All right, Voodoo. Fun little 
gap here. Woo! Oh. Uh, one thing coming here is you gotta expect people in the middle of the trail. It's just a given. Woo! See how grip today actually isn't too bad. Got. See if we can get this whole manual. Yeah. We'll take the optional sideline right here. Whack, whack. Oh yeah. So Voodoo puts you out. Bottom of the flow park. Two exits from Voodoo. Jump line, gap line. Semper Durticus. Oh man, I haven't been here in so long. Paramount, <laughs> Flying Squirrel, and then Jabulani comes out in between there. So we'll uh, we'll pedal up and do rehab, which is one of my favorite trails here. It's nice and fun, sharp corners, a little bit of an off-camber corner. Good fun. Test your cornering skills. All right, we'll see you at the top. And the technical climb. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah. Oh. Almost celebrated too soon. 12 steps, super fun. Dirt jump bikes. Dying on downhill bikes, but definitely fun on dirt jump bikes. All right, so we're up on the top of the rehab Paramount 12 step start. So this trail's cool. You go straight, hit the double black jumpy. Fun little drop, and we're gonna cut left actually and do rehab as I was talking about. So let's see if I can get clipped in before I get to the down. Haven't uh, rode this one clipped in and Actually, I have. I don't think I've ever got this trail clipped in. Okay, here we go. Rehab, double pump, scrub. Oh, corners are rebuilt. Oh, there's a berm here now. Yeah. Fern gap. Cut high. Little nose manny. Talladega. So the key is not to over jump into here. Cut, pump. Oh yeah, just so many corners. And that's all she wrote. Woo. All right, let's go up and do Paramount. All right, we teleported back up to the same start gate for Paramount. One of the guys said the second to last lip is steeper, so we will uh, see what that means. Well, without further ado, get clipped in. Easy little drop ski, no brakes. Scrub the speed, oh, that's a double now. Jump into the corner. A little step down. Oh, perfect. Ew. Not the cleanest, but she'll do. We're not doing any retakes today. This is just first pulls. Ooh, how warm now. All right, so here we have another little center. There's a couple little main intersections. You can go to the flow park that way. Well, I guess technically this is the flow park too, but you have Flying Squirrel, Jabalani. This is the Luna Air Zone. There's Luna drops, there's like, I don't know, 10 inch drops, rollable on 29s, but great for little kiddos. You have, let's see if I can back up and see this. Here you have Luna tables. Super, super cool set of jumps for those just learning how to jump. I think the biggest one is four feet. Very smooth takeoffs. And then this is just like the Luna flow is what I call it. A little, little double and a couple corners in there. But uh, yeah, really cool zone for those new to mountain biking. So yeah, let's uh, rip the snot off my face and let's go ahead and hit Jabulani. This trail, even though it's a blue, it's a little tricky. There's some tight corners, not a ton of support. All right, thing is slow, high in, off the brakes. 
Oh, almost came unclipped. Hump, scrub on the tree, stay high. Flat corners, a little nose bunk above the nub. Oh God, a little jump. Here's a tricky corner. And then the skirt. It's kind of rolling slow today. Oh God. <laughs> Well, there's the Jabulani, another fine warm-up trail. It is really fun. I can session that one, but I definitely still like rehab more. Now, we're gonna hit this guy. Flying Squirrel, up next. All right, all right, up at the top here, back to the Luna Air Zone, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit Flying Squirrel. Cool little mandatory squirrel catcher, so to speak. It's Flying Squirrel. Uh, rock lip into a flat corner into a hip and uh yeah just it's a quick little trail but man you can session it all day um and it's super cool to get you can get five guys and gals up here on this starting deck to uh shred the gnar so let's see if i remember the flow oh right no breaks through that oh that corner's running good High line, just like I said. Whoo, high pop. Run high. Little nose bonk. Oh, those are breaking. Whoo, greasy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't hit that one in a while. Whoo. Got a little. A little sketchy there on the last jump trying to whip i'm still uh well one this is only my third ride on the canyon but i am super new to clips still learning the ins and outs and i don't know i just it's gonna take i think this whole summer for me to really become confident especially whipping and being able to i don't know i like to pinch my outside heel to bring the bike back in and when you do that with clips, you kind of unpop. So just gotta learn a little bit different technique to bring the whips back. You can get them sideways, I just can't quite bring them back yet. So yeah, well that was Flying Squirrel for you. Chill little jump trail, get the heart rate going. And we're gonna hike back up almost to the same spot and hit HLC. There is some new lips, a new drop, a whole bunch of fun stuff on that guy. So I'm excited to see what the trail gnomes have been up to while I was uh, down south enjoying the sun. This is quite the change. Yeah. <laughs> Last time I was up here, this was all under construction. Yeah. I haven't, really hit the drops. I haven't been here since November. Yeah, same. <laughs> Sweet. Have fun. Yeah, you too, bud. All right. Don't over jump. Still remember that. Oh, glad I scrubbed. Oh, glad I scrubbed. Whew. Those jumps are small. This used to be terrifying. See how steep this lip is. Oh, not bad. All right, coming up to my favorite part. You got the big send Oh, nose bunk in. No brakes. You scrub. Oh, heck yeah. That line's running great. Love to come back here and session this guy. Long gone are the days of trying to jump into the corner on downhill bikes. My ankles don't need that kind of abuse. <laughs> so this is Braveheart, the XC trail. It's fun. Not my, not my cup of tea, but uh, Mr. U-Turn would like this one. Big old loop. And now, head back up. And I think let's uh, let's go over to Gravy Train. So coming out of Luna Jumps, got a nice map system here. It's definitely hard to get get lost. Cool little map of what trails are open, skills classes, COVID hazards, and here is the big map. 
So 136 acres, six miles across country, two miles of free ride trails. Uh, overview of the flow park here, then full map here. Uh, we have road, road so far, <coughs> excuse me, Deuce is Wild, uh, Voodoo, Semper is closed, Rehab, 12 Step is also closed, Paramount, Jabalani, Flying Squirrel, Luna Lines, this is the XC Up, then we actually didn't do that yet, I'm not really doing much climbing here today, just the, the down trail, so took Luna Jumps over to HLC, connector road all the way back up to the clearing um step it up is a pretty fun xc trail i like to cut out here this section is my favorite um and we are now going to roll let's see we're gonna go here take honey badger over to gravy train ride double trouble see if ghy is open it might be a little soft today they're steep dirt jumps uh and then go check out um Ooh, big tree. I haven't done that one in a minute. It is tough on big bikes. So yeah, let's go. So we'll also ride Ryan's uh, after we do this side back to kind of the lower side of the park. It's one of the, uh, actually it's one of the longer trails here as far as single trails versus loops. I think it is longer than deuces. I don't know exactly. Oh, when I see a new lip on it, my, uh, favorite little gap over the landing into the corner oh my gosh that is gonna get sent good lord wow man a plus to the trail builders this winter here it's pretty incredible the shape this is already in all right top of gravy train here you got big tree this way double trouble and ghy are just down actually cut off of well, I can't think right now. Uh, gravy train to get to those. Um, with how soft it is today, this is probably going to be rolling pretty slow. But uh, this drive has enough oomph to get us across the flats. Decent gear. Oh, I'm stuck on a root. Go ahead and get clipped in. There it is. Big old snap. Ooh. Ooh. Miss the gap, that's okay. Mostly small doubles on this trail. A couple tables. Just scrub everything. Great scrub branches. A little skirt. Crank. Scrub. Push, push, and real big push on this one. Yeah, there it is. Push. Woo. Oh yeah, eyes are watering. <sighs> so I mentioned the trail builders a little bit here throughout the video. And Duthie Hill along with Tiger Mountain Raging River Olali are all part of Evergreen's Trail Alliance. So that is our trail stewardship program. Really, really, really cool business. Relies solely on donations and grants. Great group of people, very dedicated. Obviously, as you can see, pretty wicked builders. And we are very spoiled to have this much stuff this close. Oh, here we go. Double trouble. You! Sandy. So... I was also told there's changes to this trail, so we're gonna experience them together. All right, lost a little punch up. Favorite jump coming up. You. That lip is bigger. Oh, yeah. Holy shiza. This is new. Woo. A little T-bog for good measure. 
<laughs> All right. Well, those have grown significantly. <laughs> Whew. I don't know if you have this does this justice, but I am six foot one, and that is a foot over my head at least. This gap used to be the lip used to be like right here. Nick has put in. I think I'm sure Nick and some other people, but I know this is one of Nick's trails that he takes a lot of pride in. And boy, oh boy, is it paying off! Holy crap! <laughs> this thing, <laughs> oh, it's gonna look funny in the video. A little, a little extra pole endo, and what the heck? That's insane! All right, look at this wall of just speed is what I can call that. The wall of speed. Dang, that's insane. It actually felt really good. A little oververt. <laughs> Oh, that's insane. Well, that's what good dirt, lots of water, and some serious elbow grease does. We got a rider coming. Get out of his way. Oh. You. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Ryan's eternal flow. Get up this wood feature. You <clears throat> oh, almost pushed the front wheel. See if we can clear this. Oh man, yeah, smooth as butter. We're gonna go ahead and take, oh gosh. We're gonna take the drop line. Go real slow or scrub that because you will get ejected. Gap the root. Take my cheater line. You pedal up. Wide. Little tight corner. Wood roller. Gold sender. Woohoo! Front wheels pushing a little bit today. Bit of a climb on the gas. Oh, death pit. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah. Love jumping into that. Well, that brings us from Ryan's little short climb back here into this center area. You got some skinnies to practice, some obstacles to roll over. Great little skill section for everyone about. Well, hope you enjoyed that. I, uh, I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go session double trouble some more and get used to this uh, bike and jumping clipped in. If you have any questions about Duthie Hill or the uh, greater east side Issaquah area, go ahead and drop a comment below. I'm happy to answer any questions. Hopefully see you out on the trails.